Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how the Chicago Bulls could trade DeMar DeRozan in this upcoming offseason. Also talking about the recent rumor that just came out about how the Bulls plan to reshape their roster around Zach Levine and make him the number one scoring option. And also another article came out linking the Bulls to a potential DeAndre Aiden trade in this upcoming offseason. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video video takes a second and helps me out a lot and leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the topics and rumors i'm about to jump into but nonetheless let's not waste any more time because a bunch of rumors just came out yesterday and this article and a bunch of tweets have came out from bleacher report and heavy.com and an nba insider linking the chicago bulls to deandre aiden now let's just first off start with talking about the current state of the suns and the chicago bulls now let's be honest both these teams had very very disappointing finishes to this NBA season and obviously there's been a lot of question marks surrounding the Bulls roster and this upcoming offseason what they plan to do and also with all the drama surrounding the Phoenix Suns and how they went out in a disappointing fashion in the NBA playoffs and also there's been a lot of drama surrounding DeAndre Aiden and Monty Williams for the past few months and honestly years now and per Sean Devy of heavy.com he did report saying that the Chicago Bulls are open to reshape shaping their whole roster with Zach Levine as their clear-cut number one option and they could consider trading DeMar DeRozan now this doesn't surprise me I've talked about this in past videos I just don't really see the Bulls running this roster back I mean at the end of the day say they do and add some shooters it wouldn't surprise me also but this is the offseason rumors and speculation is going to pick up and at the end of the day I am fine with this like I've said in past videos I love DeMar DeRozan he's outplayed his contract with with the Chicago Bulls he wants to get paid I think that's clear and to keep it short and simple let's say the Bulls don't extend DeMar DeRozan and they, and they don't trade him in this offseason the Chicago Bulls are going to be in the exact same situation that they are in right now with Vooch that they're going to be in with DeMar DeRozan next offseason when he's a free agent and that's just not a good place to be so the Bulls should either extend DeMar DeRozan keep him and Zach together or try and trade him this is exactly where the Phoenix Suns and DeAndre Aiden get linked and connected to the Chicago Bulls. And John Devy was talking about the Suns' whole situation, and he did link DeAndre Aiden to the Chicago Bulls, and he did list the Chicago Bulls as a potential landing spot for him. And he also did talk about a potential swap between the Bulls and the Suns involving DeMar DeRozan and DeAndre Aiden. Chicago is obviously going to be in the market for a center, with Vooch set to be a free agent. And he did report saying that the Bulls have not yet shopped DeMar DeRozan in any potential trade talks, but it could happen soon because 2023 and 2024 will be the final season of his current contract. And one NBA GM did tell Heavy Sports that it's almost certain that the Suns will look into trading DeAndre Aiden. I think they feel like they can do all right with just a decent center and changing their focus on getting better or talented around those two star players of Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. And that's been true for the past couple of years, really. DeAndre Aiden has butted heads with Monte Williams. I remember there was some drama with that whole situation. I believe it was last offseason. But let's be real, you know, even though this drama and he didn't play that well in the finals, and I hate to be like this, there is some question marks if he really does want to play basketball and if he, when he wants to get up to play to the game. But he could be a great player still. It just needs to take some time and be somewhere else. And with that being said, the NBA insider did continue and he did say it is a tough market for trading centers though. They're about to find that out. The teams that might be the most interested in getting into that mix is Chicago and I've heard he's on the list. So that right there links him to the Chicago Bulls and he did list the Bulls as a favorite and as a landing spot. Before I continue to talk about this topic and break it down, would you guys be interested in DeAndre Aiden? There's been past rumors and the Bulls have also been linked to him in the past before. I've made plenty of videos talking about it. I mean, Vooch, he's 32 years old. The Bulls do not really want to make a long-term commitment to him, it sure does seem like. I could see them maybe extending him to a one- or two-year contract, but who knows if Vooch would want that. The Bulls and Suns potentially could do a sign-in trade for Vooch and DeAndre Aiden, but there has been some reports that the Suns aren't really interested in Vooch, and they don't want to sign and trade DeAndre Aiden for Vooch, because like I did report and say earlier, they don't want to spend a a lot of big money on a center 
Now, the Dallas Mavericks, the Blazers, and the Hornets are also DeAndre Aiden suitors. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if maybe the Pacers were interested again. I know they just extended Miles Turner, but the Pacers did sign him to that big deal last offseason, and then obviously the Suns did match it, but who truly knows? And if I'm going to be honest, it's kind of an iffy situation for the Chicago Bulls. I mean, DeAndre Aiden, he's only 24 years old. He was the first overall draft pick back in 2018 for a reason. He is a seven foot tall center. He weighs 250 pounds. He has a seven six wingspan. When DeAndre Aiden wants to play basketball, he's a really good center. I mean, he's only 24 years old. There's obviously been some rumors and drama with his name and the Phoenix Suns head coach. I mean, there was also some question marks. How he played versus the Nuggets in the playoffs and also I saw some videos on Twitter of just him not trying to rebound the ball and kind of just taking some plays off so that's definitely a big question mark and a concern but last season for the Phoenix Suns in about 30 minutes per night he did average 18 points per game shooting 59% from the field only 29% from three-point range he also did average 10 rebounds two assists one steal and one block per game so say the Bulls do trade for DeAndre Aiden he's definitely not going to help out the three-point shooting problem and for his career he's only shooting about 26 percent from three-point range i mean in 2021 he did shoot about 37 percent from three but that was a fluke year or something i don't know every other year he's been shooting low 20s the high 20s I think even with DeAndre Aiden's big contract and all the drama and rumors, I'm still interested. I think he could be a really good two-way center for a long time, especially if he just continues to work on his three-point shot. Now, like I did say, the Suns aren't really interested in Vooch, according to this report. I don't know how interested they would be in DeMar DeRozan. The Suns already kind of failed to space the floor in the playoffs. Who? Why would they also want to add another star that is ball down? dominant heavy like DeMar DeRozan next to KD and Devin Booker. I don't really see them being interested in DeMar DeRozan. Also, I don't really see a lot of NBA teams being interested in DeAndre Aiden. And with the Bulls planning to rebuild and to retool this roster around Zach Levine, I wouldn't be mad if they did take a chance on a young, talented, big like DeAndre Aiden. I don't know what his price tag would be. I don't expect it to be anything crazy like the Rudy Gobert trade or anything like that. And don't get me wrong, this is not going to be an easy choice for the Bulls or the Suns but I think I would trade DeMar DeRozan and maybe some draft capital to take a chance on DeAndre Aiden I remember back in 2018 when he was drafted I was really interested I wanted the Bulls to draft him but they obviously couldn't he went number one I'm interested but there's a lot of concerns and a lot of question marks but this Bulls team they really can't be picky they need to add talent and young talent really thank you guys for all the love on the past few videos and the channel I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Have a good one.